As dog owners, our dogs have a special place in our hearts, and we always strive to show them just how much we care. However, have you ever stopped to think if the way you treat your furry friend is actually the way they want to be treated? In today's video, we take a closer look and find out if our acts of love and affection are being received the way we intend them to be. Here are 21 things your dog hates and wish you'd stop doing. 1. Pulling on their leash Walking your dog should be a bonding and enjoyable experience for both you and your furry friend, but it can quickly turn into a painful and stressful one if you're constantly pulling on their leash. Dogs have sensitive neck areas, and pulling on their leash can put a lot of pressure on this delicate part of their body causing discomfort and even pain. Imagine if someone yanked your arm every time you went for a walk. It wouldn't be very pleasant, would it? The same goes for your dog. When you're pulling on their leash, you're sending a message that you're in control, and this can be overwhelming for some dogs. This can also create a negative association with going for walks, causing your dog to become anxious and stressed every time they're on a leash. So, what can you do instead? Invest in a comfortable and well-fitted harness and work on loose leash training techniques to encourage your dog to walk by your side. With a little effort and patience, you can make walking an enjoyable and stress-free experience for both you and your furry friend. 2. Yelling When did yelling ever solve anything? I'm sure you've never appreciated it when someone yelled at you. Well, the same goes for your dog. Dogs have highly sensitive hearing, and loud, sudden noises like yelling can startle and scare them. This fear can then lead to feelings of anxiety and stress, causing your dog to become defensive or retreat. And the last thing we want is for our furry friends to feel scared or uncomfortable around us. Furthermore, yelling can cause confusion for your dog. Dogs communicate primarily through body language and vocal cues, so if you're constantly yelling, your dog may have trouble understanding what you're trying to say. This can make it difficult for your dog to learn and respond to commands. So let's stop the yelling. 3. Hugging While we humans love a good hug to show affection, our dogs may not feel the same way. Imagine being trapped in a crowded room and feeling suffocated. That's how your pup feels when you wrap them in a tight embrace. Not only that, but hugging can also be perceived as a sign of dominance by your dog. Every pup is unique, and some may love a good hug, while others may tolerate it for your sake, and some may even lash out. Keep an eye out for warning signs like pinned back ears, a stiff posture, or a tense expression. If you see any of these, it's best to avoid hugs altogether. Don't forget to remind visitors and strangers to respect your pup's boundaries too. 4. Ignoring your pup Dogs are social creatures that thrive on attention and affection from their owners. They crave attention like a plant craves water and sunlight, and it's essential to their overall well-being. When we ignore our dogs when they want our attention, it sends them a devastating message that they're not important, not loved, and not valued. This can lead to feelings of abandonment and security, causing serious harm to their emotional state. As responsible pet owners, it's our job to ensure that our dogs feel loved, respected, and valued. Spending quality time with them every day, no matter how busy our schedule may be, is an essential part of building a strong bond and creating a positive relationship. Whether it's playing fetch, going for a walk, or simply cuddling on the couch, these moments of interaction are crucial to our dog's happiness and well-being. 5. Making them play dress-up We all love to see our dogs in cute and cuddly outfits, but it's important to remember that what may be cute for us may not be so for them. The truth is, most dogs tolerate dressing up, but don't actually enjoy it. While some dogs may be okay with wearing dog-specific jackets or coats to keep them warm during the winter, silly costumes for the sake of fun and laughter may not be suitable for all pups. 
6. Keeping your dog near strong smells Did you know that dogs have extremely sensitive noses? I mean 10,000 to 100,000 times more sensitive than ours. That means extremely potent perfumes, cleaners, and products may have negative effects on your pooch's nose. Try to keep those high-smelling items out of sniffing reach for your dog. They'll thank you. 7. No routine or structure As humans, we often seek out new and exciting experiences to break up the monotony of our daily lives. But have you ever considered the impact that this constant change might have on our four-legged friends? Our dogs might not be able to articulate it, but they love a good routine. It brings them comfort, security, and stability, which are essential components of a happy and healthy life. That's why it's so important to establish a regular feeding and exercise schedule for your furry companion. By feeding them at the same time every day, you'll help regulate their digestive system and keep their metabolism running smoothly. And by taking them out for daily walks and playtime, you'll give them the physical and mental stimulation they crave. 8. Face Petting Just like hugging, every dog will have a different reaction to your hands on their face. While some love the touch, others may only tolerate it. It also goes without saying that if you do pet your dog's face, make sure to be gentle. But to be safe, stay in safe zones such as the neck, shoulders, or chest, especially with new dogs. 9. Forcing your pup to make new friends When it comes to socializing our pups, it's all about finding the right balance. If your dog is outgoing and loves meeting new people and pets, then go ahead and let her interact to her heart's content. But if she's more reserved or anxious, forcing her into social situations can be overwhelming and even dangerous. Instead, let your dog take the lead. When she approaches a new person, have them drop a treat on the floor and give her positive reinforcement. This will help her build confidence and encourage her to socialize more in the future. And when it comes to meeting new canine friends, take it slow. Start by going for a group walk with a few dog or human teams in a single file line. This creates a sense of safety among the dogs and helps them get used to group encounters. If you notice that your dog is starting to feel more comfortable, you can gradually increase the level of interaction. But always remember to let your dog's demeanor guide your actions. If she's still not ready to meet and greet, give her space and let her come around in her own time. With a little patience and understanding, you and your pup will be socializing like pros in no time. 10. Staring into their eyes We love to look at our dogs, especially in the eyes, to convey our love for them. However, it's best to avoid this with your new dogs. Direct eye contact can be interpreted as a challenge or even a threat. And we all know how a threat to a dog can end. 11. Stopping the Sniff Fest If you've ever taken your dog on a walk, you know how much your dog likes to sniff. It may be annoying to you, but for them, it's a chance to see who's been around their neighborhood. Pulling them away or berating them for sniffing is very annoying to your dog, as this is their version of social media and you're interrupting them. Imagine if you were on your phone and someone took it from you. That's what it feels like to dogs when you pull them away from their sniffing spots. 12. Leaving them lonely As social animals, dogs thrive on interaction and attention from their owners. Unfortunately, many pet owners have to work long hours and leave their furry friends alone for extended periods of time. This can lead to boredom, anxiety, and destructive behavior, as dogs crave companionship and mental stimulation. If you're someone who works for long hours, there are a few things you can do to help your dog feel less lonely while you're away. You could consider hiring a dog walker to take your pup out for a midday potty break and even engage him in some exercise to help relieve some of the pent-up energy and boredom. Another option is enrolling them in a doggy daycare where they can play and socialize with other dogs and have a constant source of attention and stimulation. Leaving a TV or radio on can also help your dog feel less lonely and provide some background noise, 
but it's no substitute for human interaction and play. 13. Teasing This one may be a little self-explanatory, but dogs hate teasing. Stop pretending to throw their ball, stop pulling on their tail, stop waving at them as they bark behind a window, and stop barking at them from across the street. These are just a few examples. But if there's anything you're doing that you could consider to be teasing, it's better to refrain from it. 14. Making too much noise Dogs are known for their sensitive hearing, and as our faithful companions, they're always by our side to listen to and support us. But have you ever noticed that your furry friend might not be a fan of all the noise you make? From loud music and TV to shouting and slamming doors, dogs can become overwhelmed and stressed by all the noise. 15. Not allowing them to express their natural instincts Dogs have natural instincts, such as chewing, digging, and chasing, that need to be expressed. By not allowing them to do so, you're creating stress and frustration. Provide your dog with plenty of chew toys, a designated digging area, and opportunities for play and exercise. 16. Not feeding your dog a balanced diet Your dog's diet plays a crucial role in his overall health and well-being. Just like us, dogs need a balanced and nutritious diet to help them stay active, happy, and healthy. Feeding a dog a one-size-fits-all diet can lead to health problems and imbalances over time. For example, a sedentary senior dog will have different nutritional needs than an active puppy or working dog. By providing them with the nutrients they need, you'll be giving them the best chance to live a happy and healthy life. 17. Too many baths No one wants a smelly dog in their home, but dogs were not meant to be bathed as often as humans bathe. If their skin and coat are robbed of their natural oils too often, both will become dry and unhealthy, and dry skin can lead to chronic scratching, hot spots, or full-on dermatitis. Most dogs don't like to be bathed, because it requires them to have their bodies soaked down and handled while they remain vulnerable. Also, most dogs dislike having their feet and legs handled. And then there's the part of getting soap in their eyes. Plus, many people fail to use warm enough water when bathing their dogs. If he smells or is clearly dirty, then by all means, please give him a bath. But don't schedule a weekly bath just because you think it's appropriate. Instead, Brush and comb your dog daily. This allows you to remove dirt, dead hair, and skin. 18. Interrupting their sleep Dogs need sleep for the same reasons that we do. During sleep, their bodies repair and regenerate, their muscles relax, and their minds recharge. Sleep is also crucial for dogs to consolidate their memories, improve their moods, and maintain their overall physical and mental health. Your dog deserves a good night's sleep, and just like it is for you, disruptions to their slumber can have a significant impact on their overall health and well-being. 19. Kisses We love kisses from our pups, some of us at least. We see it as a sign of affection, but in reality, it's showing them that they are submissive to us through their licking. When we give them kisses, they become confused because they only see it as a sign of submission. To remove this confusion, show your love for them by giving them a good, relaxing belly rub. 20. Manhandling Children are fast, unpredictable, and impulsive, and can often worry or annoy a dog, especially one used to their unpredictable and exuberant natures. Kids might chase, pull on ears or tails, try to ride a big dog, or even take away a toy, all of which is a huge no-no. All of these things are very uncomfortable for dogs, and even the best behaved ones could get exasperated by these antics and bite said child in the hands or in the face. Before you have children over, talk to their parents first so they can explain protocol to the youngsters. When they come over, let your dog greet them casually and have them give her a treat or two. Then simply maintain a calm atmosphere if the children want to play hard and your dog seems concerned, put her in a room that's off-limits to the kids. 21. 
forcing them to share their toys or food. Dogs are territorial animals, and they need their own space, toys, and food. By forcing them to share, you're creating conflict and stress. Provide each dog in your household with its own toys and food bowls. That said, we all love our dogs and would never want to cause them harm. That's why it's crucial to take responsibility for our actions and make improvements when necessary. Let's strive to create a safe and happy environment for our furry friends and make every moment a tail wagging experience. To educate yourself further on ways to do right by your dog, check out our video, 16 Ways You Are Hurting Your Dog Without Realizing. Thank you for watching.